My mom passed away on the 3rd of March this year, 2023. She was 87 years old. She would have been 88 on the 1st of April. Um, I want to share some thoughts about her, her youth, her life, her, her old age, my childhood, my advancing coming old age, and about how it might be applicable to all of us with adults, with elderly parents. We'll share some thoughts about what we go through with them and their suffering and, the, and their death. My name is Edgar, and this is the Language Cafe. I hope you you my, my videos that I have on here. It's a little bit of everything. Give me a like, maybe. Uh, comment, leave a comment. On, I'd love to hear your comment on this video. Maybe subscribe. I would love to, to have you join me on, my, on this channel. Okay, some thoughts on my mom. What I remember most about her is I think what a lot of us remember about our parents through the years, especially as we get older, the encouragement that they give, not just when we were children, when we were little, but in our adulthood. I think moms, in a lot of cases, they end up being our, still our biggest cheerleader. We may end up getting married. Other people enter our lives. But there's uh, dads, too, to a large extent. My dad passed away in 2019. But I think a lot of people would say there's something special about very special standout about the mom. I think moms maybe even care more, they cry more, they, they think more on you. And my mom was no exception. Sometimes I gave her reason for tears. Her prayers, I coveted them and I, I valued them, especially now. She was from Argentina. And I like to ask my parents about history. They lived, what they went through. My father liked to talk about his memories of when Little boy in Peru and World War II was declared. And my mom, she lived through the times of the Perons, of Juan and Evita. She was there through Eva Perón's death and I liked to ask her about Argentina, what she remembers, what she went through. I'm a history buff, I love history. You might see in a couple of my videos on this channel. About youth and old age, uh, it was a funny thing that occurred to me that well, it's so true that you know they take care of you when you're little. They take care of so much of you, you know, especially when you're very little. So much can happen to you. And you're so delicate. They try to raise you tough to grow up, and then you grow, grow up to be independent, more and more independent from them. And then comes their old age, and with that age comes diseases and comes suffering, and you end up you end up taking care of them or you have to find someone who does. You're concerned with them more so, and you think about them, and you see them fade. Your parents saw you grow and learn and become wise. Hopefully you became wise, become more intelligent, be able to communicate more with them. But then you see the opposite happen with your parents. They start to lose. My father passed away of Alzheimer's. And they start to fade and they remember less and they're less mobile, less quick, and then they need help with maintenance and the little things like the taking care of themselves and you have to take care of that, clean them even, help them to change or you hire somebody to, to do that or to help you do that. They start to forget, they become diminished. And as you get older, maybe you start to see a little, some of those things happen to you, but I'm not there yet. Most of us are not there yet by the time our parents get old and pass away. But my father was with Alzheimer's and my mother with her heart condition. They started to fade. They needed more help. And I think about two of the times my mom counseled me, my dad. And they're so full of wisdom, so full of life, and you thought they could do everything. But as old age and death is impending and comes close. You start to hear from them some doubts, some fears, some concerns that like happens to old people. So I'm, I'm speaking to those of you with elderly parents and you're starting to see this in them. I'm telling you it's natural. It's natural. It happens. And they start to wonder a little bit, show concerns, and they're afraid of maybe a little bit. My mom, I think, was afraid of not so much of death. She said she wasn't afraid of death, but of of suffering, the pain that might come, and she was fears that she might have cancer or something. 
She ended up having a heart disease. She died, her heart weakened. And suddenly over the last few days before she died, she showed very quick, steep drop in her health. And through time, those months she became less mobile, harder to breathe, got tired more easily. And I saw this and, and you know it's coming, but you know, when you're real young, you tend to think it doesn't hit you, the reality of it. You think old age and death and people dying in your family, you think, oh, that's something that happens in other families. Well, I have a large, very large extended family. My family in South America, of course, my uncles and our aunts were dying off, but it, it doesn't, doesn't hit you until that first member of your family, usually a parent, that first member dies. And then it's, it's interesting, my neighbors told me that the, they went to the Philippines recently, they're Filipinos. And they said what, in, in the Philippines have tradition, they go up to the old people and they kiss their hand or they kiss their forehead. And she hadn't been to the Philippines in a few years and the, the lady next door, and she said she went and this time there really weren't any people to, with hands to kiss. Those people were, were, were gone. And people were coming up to her and her husband and asking to kiss their hands. And then it hits you. My mother was the matriarch of her family, of the Orlandos of northern Argentina. And I think she has two younger brothers. I think they, they might both be gone. I don't know. But that she may be, have been she may have been the end of her generation. And then it hits you. You're it. You're the elders. You're the next, the next generation. The one that's coming up to coming down the home stretch. Although I don't think I'm at the home stretch yet. At sixty. My father used to joke, he was middle-aged at 60 or 70, he was going to live, he said, to live to be 120. Today's March 19th, actually, as I, as I submit this. It's like St. Joseph's Day. And traditionally close to where I live in San Juan Capistrano, I think, although they don't come as much as they used to, they're these swallows that come from my mother's part of Argentina, specifically from Corrientes, Argentina. So they live part of the year there, all the way from northern Argentina. They fly here to Southern California, to San Juan Capistrano. I think they go to mostly the other areas now. You don't hear much about them. But they would come, these young little birds, these swallows, and with signs of life. And many of them die in that flight on the way here. And that's part of their life. In John 11.25, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, yet shall he live. I just think of my mom as alive in a fresh new way. People, when they go to heaven, they're not old, they're young. And she went a few weeks ago and she saw my father again. And I know I will see them again. I will see them again. And until we meet again, Mom, this one is for you. These flowers are for you in the resurrection. Here, Mom, until we meet again. Thank you. Until we meet again.